Hi, welcome to class. We're the only two right now, but the other ones will show up eventually, right? Hmm. I hate my life. I hate my life. Hey, Professor Sunrise Productions! Hello, class. Professor Sunrise here. Regional season has really started now. There were two regionals here uh, this weekend in Germany. Um, I sadly couldn't attend one of them, but my good teammate Simon got second place at one of them playing Tanky Sword Soul. Um, the regionals were filled with a lot of Flunder players and not too many PK uh, people or people on Cyfrog in general. And more like Flunder, um, Dragonlink, uh, more into the uh, rogue niche or maybe like tier 2 and not the people, uh, not the decks that are hyped the most. But anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get right into the deck list. Peace. So here we are with Simon who got second place at a 54 person tournament here in Germany playing uh, Sword Soul. Okay, anything you want to say before we get into the profile? I don't think so. No. Okay, so let's get into the profile. So, yes, uh, first of all, we have to appreciate this beautiful field center because I really love the Ghibli Studio movies. <laughs> 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 um, yes, uh, I would like to start with the attendees. I did play two V Shooter and three Ashuna and three Adara. Pretty basic. Then, of course, three of the incredible level six Long Yuan. He's just insane. Making Baroness is always a good feeling. Two Taya. And then we play, of course, three Mohi and three Ecclesias. Going on with the spells for consistency, of course, we also need uh, emergency and yes i did skip <laughs> some of the monsters so we come back to the monsters now the one and only really stupid brick in the deck um, of course you always see it and uh, it hurts but it's fine because you can still special summon it from the hand then for the hand traps i did play a pretty weird lineup i would say Cost three ash blossoms. It's just the uh, best generic hand trap for all the matchups. Then we did play two ghost ogre because, because uh, it's really good versus uh, the tenji package. And of course, uh, in salt soul tenji, you play emergency teleport for the needle fiber combo. So if you want, you could max it out to free. Maybe I will do it in the future. But for the past events, I just I, I thought to will will be enough. Uh, yes, and I did play two DD Crow in the main deck. Um, it's just because I really, really didn't want to get hit by sight um, and DP. And also Sky Striker and Eldlich are really, really bad matchups for the Sword Soul deck. And DD Crow hits them all. And yes, like I said, when they destroy uh, artifacts side 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 um yeah and they want a special summon in from the grave you just drop dd crow and most of the time 10 ye sword so it's good enough to play through their board when they don't have the sky lock scythe lock <laughs> <laughs> and did it uh, perform to your theory or it was a uh, perfect it, uh, really okay. um i never got scythed Scythe locked. Man, it's a stupid word. It's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because, yes, I also play free Forbidden Chalice and free Droplets for the same reason. Of course, one called by the grave as well. This package alone was insane versus PK Brave. Uh, yeah, PK Brave. Because, um, like I said, all players are play playing uh, Artifact Scythe in the PK Brave deck, except him because he's a, he's a genius. And um, <coughs> yes, when I when I draw one of them or two and, did, and they didn't open perfect, uh, I just win the game because they can't resolve Scythe and then I... Most draw is the also, by the way, really good against PK. A lot of people don't play around it and you can get really hurt by just banishing Torn Scales when you use Cloak and then you can't actually uh, extend off the Jurabini on field with the Brave Engine, you can't actually extend if you hit the Torn Scales. Yes. So this alone can really hurt um, PK players if they... You can play around it, but you just don't do it because 
And also seeing two play. can be perfect versus uh, the DPE package. When you just draw, uh, when you ban the DPE in the draw phase and you drop another one for the Celestials and it don't even get the second, uh, they don't get the two draws. And it did come up. So it seems really strong. If you can play a lot of cantrips, DD Crow feels really strong right now. I played against an Evoke Dogma player who screwed me over with it. I could, just couldn't play because of DD Crow. I lost the match because of that. Yes. Well, let's just continue with the profile. Then I play one Desires and two Emergency Teleport, just for consistency reasons and the Needle Fiber package. Most players, they play free Emergency Teleport. Um, I think you have enough ways to go into Needle Fiber when you also play free Adara. Um, of course, it's a really good extender, but also going first, I really don't like it a lot because most of the time Sword Soul is that consistent that you don't even have to go into Needle Fiber. You can play through one or two hand traps and end on a pretty good board. So it's an emergency teleport. You really just use it when there's no way out and you, <laughs> and you have, <laughs> yeah, when you, there's no way out and you have to go into Needle Fiber, then you use it and uh, it was enough for me. Setting it for going first, of course you have an ogre, you can use it as another interruption, but versus uh, Brave, for example, they just summon the token in attack, the attack position and run over the ogre. Um, yeah, it's, it was enough for me. Then I did play three Cosmic Cyclones. It's also really good versus Scythe and uh, Fateful Adventure, it's good versus Sky Striker when you hit the field spell or multi roll or engage. It's really good against all the floodgates. Um, so, so Tenji loses instantly versus Gozen Match, and there can only be one. Skill Drain is fine, but yeah, Skill Drain is running around a lot, so Cosmic Cyclones in the main deck was a really good decision. I really liked it. There are also so many good spells and Dragon Link you can hit, like the Boot Sector launch and Dragon Ravine. Yeah, it did perform really good. And then I did play one Sword Soul Blackout. For the extra and How many cards remain, by the way? Mm, it's 44 cards. Okay, okay. Um, the Link package. Yes, I think it's. No third monk needed? No, it, it never came up. Right now, it's also ten you, you, in Swords of Tenji, you, you just need two. There's n not a really good, uh, like the format, the format developed uh, in the direction that you don't really have grind games. Yeah. Yeah, so true. two monks were enough. Then uh, I play two of the good ones. Baxia is the most insane card. I really, really like it. When it resolves, it just feels so free with Taya. When you shuffle back two cards into the deck, it's not even to the hand. Yeah, it's made for going second. It can break boards by its own. And then I did play these cards. Mm, Ruddy Rose was insane for me because like i said i did expect a lot of pk players and um, when sword soul starts or uh, have to go second versus pk sometimes of course you can break the board and um, then the pk player has the mo uh, pk player has insane follow-up and ruddy rose dragon just takes it away you banish, banish the whole graveyard and uh, they are uh, they have to draw a really good top deck if they want to go on playing. For the side deck, I did play free Judgment and free Anti Spell. This is insane versus Flunderies um, because yeah, I can just negate the normal summon with the Grandmaster, and when they don't have their spells, they just lose. Also with the Sky Striker, like I said, and the Brave Engine, of course. Mm, then I did play free Lancia. 
insane, just a really good generic hand trap. Of course, versus PK was uh, Flunderies and uh, with Sword Soul, it's also fine. And then I did play three Lightning Storms and three one offs. I did expect a lot of uh, control players and lots of back row decks like Eldlich and Skill Drain decks and uh, Red Reboot and Feather Dust are just really good one offs you should play. And the third crow, and that's it. Would you change anything from the side or did it perform to your uh, theory? Like, mm. No, I really liked it. It was perfect. Okay. I figured out, out uh, the best side deck patterns. So for every matchup, I have problems with uh, the side deck was perfect. It performed really good. Okay, so uh, any shout outs you want to give at the end? Mm, yes, sure. I would like to say thank you to my team, CCG Gold Cards. <laughs> and uh, my friends from, Mün from Münster, the Comic Planet. Yes. Okay, uh, that's been it for the deck profile. You guys are dismissed. Uh, the class is out. Professor Sunrise out as well. Peace.